Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Gemini. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this will not resonate with every Gemini and it will not resonate with every Gemini cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Take a moment to read through the description box as well, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I am reopening personal readings for the month of June, but I've had very limited availability and I have quite a long wait list. So keep that in mind. Um, but if you're interested, you can email me um, to be put on the wait list. You can find my email in the description box as well as the links to my um, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram where I post um, occasional collective readings. Gemini. Gemini. All right, we have the Empress, Taurus Energy, Six of Cups, Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, yeah, Page of Pentacles. So I'm already getting this energy that If somebody is breadcrumbing you, I feel like you have more history with a person, but why do I feel like this person is, um, has some, okay. So I'm getting this. So first of all, let me just name all the signs I'm seeing here. Taurus, I see, um, fire, which is Aries, Leo, Sag. I see air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see Leo, back of the deck, we have six of pentacles in reverse. So if somebody isn't reciprocating, they're not, they're breadcrumbing you. They're not giving you what you deserve. They're doing something deceptive. They're lying to you. They're doing something secretly behind your back and it's going to come to light why this person was not giving to you or why they started breadcrumbing you, um, why there was no reciprocity. And it's because this person is dealing with somebody new. There's somebody new in this person's life. That's why they're not giving to you anymore is because they have met somebody else that they feel is more shiny. Like they think they're more, more excited. Like they're, that situation's newer and I feel like it's more exciting. You have more history with this person, but they have met somebody else that they're trying to have some type of new beginning with um, that is more, it's more fun and exciting and new. Okay. Um, and I feel like this is going to come to light and it's going to make sense why this person stopped giving to you or why they breadcrumbed you. They're, they're no longer giving you a t the attention or something like that. Okay. Why there's no equal give and take, or they're no longer giving to this connection. It's because they're dealing with somebody else. I feel like, unfortunately, this is one of those readings that I hate to deliver to people, but you're going to find out that this person's not going to, if you are already in a committed relationship with this person, or you guys thought you were headed that way, I don't see that happening. And if you are in a commitment with this person, I see this person making the decision. They're going to, it's like, they're making a decision between you and this other person. And unfortunately, this person's going to choose this other person. That's what I'm seeing here. All right. Queen of cups, eight of cups. Somebody is refusing to walk away emotionally here. Queen of Cups. And look, Spirit is saying that, like, you guys kind of have a feeling that, you know, maybe you need to walk away from this person or maybe you need to wrap this up um, and just focus on yourself, focus on self-love. Um, but for some reason, you're not doing it. That could just, you know, I feel like this person's maybe causing you a lot of stress and turmoil. Um, but this person's not emotionally invested the same way that you are. There's, a, there's an imbalance in this relationship. And... There's something that they've been keeping a secret that's going to be revealed. You guys maybe could have known about this third party and they told you that they were done with that person, but they have not moved on. Or it's like you guys are refusing to, you guys are like resisting the change. Spirit, I feel like is guiding you to move on from a person, but you guys are resisting it, okay? Um, if you're waiting for you and this person to have the opportunity to work things out, I don't see that either. Okay, so let me get more clarity. 
Again, I know there's going to be some people that are not happy with this message that I'm delivering right now. But um, I don't choose the message, okay? And if it's coming through, that means somebody needs to hear it. Because if I chose the message that came through, that would be manipulation, right? So. The Empress. I'm telling you. See? They're having like little like probably messing around with somebody else having sexually relate sexual relations with somebody else they're they're going over they're going to visit this person at their home dating going on dates with this person tell you about the queen of wands tell me more about this netflix and chill Tendering. Yeah, this person's meeting. They could have met this person online. For some of you, they have more than one person. They have multiple people that they're they're messing around with that they meet on dating websites. Spirit says that you really need to know your worth in this situation. All right. Um, don't let this person walk on you like and you know think that they can date other people while also, you know, trying to have their cake and eat it too type energy. Know your worth enough to walk away from this situation with dignity. Six of Cups. Yes. And their feelings. Yeah. Sipping tea. So I feel like in the past things were maybe working out pretty well between you and this person. Um, there was there was emotion there, or there was some type of deep feelings there. All right. Um, or they maybe told you that they had deep feelings for you, but spirit says you needed to be careful when listening to what this person has to say to you. They yeah, we have the well played card on the back of the deck. This person's been playing you. All right. What is their motive? Why are they doing this to my Geminis? This person like views you as like arm candy. They like the way that you guys look together. Um, they may feel that you guys like are very well off or you guys have your money together. And that could have been a motivating factor for why this person wanted you in their life or why they wanted to be in a relationship with you. So this person went into this with the, with, you know, ill intentions you should get into a relationship with somebody because you love them you like them you have feelings for them you know what i mean you want to build a life with them not because of what you can gain out of them queen of swords yeah it's like you need to uh listen to your intuition and you need to set boundaries with this person um because this person cannot be trustworthy tr tr they cannot be trusted they're not trustworthy and there's something they're doing shady things behind your back this person feels like they have a they, they they could have some type of pull over you. They they feel like they have like the power to influence you, to sway you, to persuade like to persuade you and to manipulate you, okay? But um yeah, this person's very selfish. They have no regard for your feelings. I don't feel like this person's wrapped too tight either. They don't they don't think rationally. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person's like, you guys need to be careful. If you guys are still having relations with this person, be careful. Because I feel like they're they're possibly sleeping with multiple different people. So use, you know, use protection. Protect yourself when, if you guys are still involved with this person in that way. But this person's very reckless. And I told you, I don't feel like they're wrapped too tight. A state of being wild, acting wildly. Drugs, alcohol, sex at crazy parties, drunk, excited. So these are the types of things that this person is engaging in. They're making very stupid decisions at this time. They're not thinking rationally. They're having like a crisis. They're having a midlife, quarter life, whatever part of life they're in, they're having a crisis. All right. And Spirit says that you, it's best that you stay out of this. All right. Like they're doing a lot of things behind your back that you are not even aware of. Page of Pentacles. This could have been a person that would like come in and out of your life or they would ghost you or they would ignore you. Per this per person's not, this person is sick, guys. This person likes to do things to get a rise out of you or to get a reaction out of you. This person likes to argue. They like to disrupt you. What kind of person, this person does not love you. They could, they are a liar. If they tell you that they love you and they have deep feelings for you, they don't. This person is crazy. They, they're crazy. I don't know how else to put it. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like this person's very insulting. They're very disrespectful to you, very rude to you. It's like this person just likes like 
you they, they think that they can play games play around like five of pentacles it's like spirit says you need to leave this person behind you need to you know um hone in on that your inner strength your confidence be ruthless be unapologetic in your self-worth and loving yourself enough to and you might you guys might need, not you guys might even have to cuss this person out i don't know tell them about themselves it's like there's a lot of people that look up to you whether you know it or not and spirit is like calling for you to be an example all right set an example like don't there's like going to be a lot of people that look up to you for walking away from this situation. There's a lot of people watching you and seeing how you are handling this situation with this person. And it's like you walking away from this person and, you know, finding your inner strength, walking away from them, loving yourself unapologetically. A lot of people are going to admire that. Okay. Yeah. It's like, they're going to think like liking someone a lot, some, someone or something a lot. It's like somebody is going to be, um, it's like there's going to be a lot of people admiring how you took charge of a situation or you're going to share this story with a lot of people and a lot of people are going to admire admire you for this your strength all right tell me about the sun i feel like if you leave this situation behind everything is going to start going in your favor this is a blockage for you because this part if you you guys can be very concerned about this person but this person's not very concerned about you all right they're very concerned about themselves and I definitely feel that this person has a mental health disorder, okay? And they like playing with you. They like toying with you. They like hurting you. They like getting a reaction out of you. They like seeing you get emotional over them. That's sick, okay? Um, this person's going to keep you... It's like you 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 would you would be settling and you would have a mediocre life or even maybe a bad life with this person. You know what I mean? Like spirit's saying that you're settling by being with this person. You could do so much better. This person's gonna hold you back. It's like this person's gonna keep you from happiness. You're always gonna be sad or in a mood when with this person. So you need to unapologetically, like this This person's probably not going to be happy that you're walking away from them, that you're cutting off contact with them, leaving them behind. But Spirit says that you're not doing anything wrong by walking away from somebody, by knowing your worth and walking away from a toxic situation or person. Um, Spirit says, don't care what other people think about your decision. Do what you feel is best for you. And Spirit says that this is good. It's good that you're walking away from this person and you will be blessed. All right. Luck is on your side. They are supporting you in this decision. Okay. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. I am reopening personal readings for the month of June. Um, but don't forget to, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I do have a very long wait list. But if you're interested, feel free to email me. Um, and don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.